This is uh, Joe Gallagher. He's the business development manager for Network Operators. Joe, what are you showing at CTIA? Here today, Chris, what we've got is we've got a, a number of the tools that the network operator field organizations would use in the deployment and the maintenance and the, and the um, deployment and the maintenance of their infrastructure and their network. So what we've got here today, we have our drive test tools, mm -hmm. which is uh, made up of Romus and our scanner, TSMW, along with some of the handheld tools that a network operator field organization would typically use, such as a handheld spectrum analyzer or FSH platform, and also now a, a new platform that the network operators have really been starting to embrace, our PR100 for use for interference type of uh, hunting activities. Okay. Interference in current and future networks is becoming a bigger issue. What can network operators do to address this? Chris, some of the tools that Roden Schwartz has to address interference issues are some of our handheld tools. Um, traditionally, network operators utilized handheld spectrum analyzers to look for, identify, and mitigate interference issues. Interference can come from a variety of different locations, from a variety of different uh, places. Our FSH platform is very keenly uh, aligned with that type of application, but now the network operators have identified that there are tools in addition to just a handheld spectrum analyzer that they can find of use for. And it's not a replacement for a spectrum analyzer, but it complements that, and that is our PR100. Our PR100 being a handheld receiver, it's the only platform on the market that has that capability. It essentially looks at the RF spectrum in a real-time environment, or can look at a real-time environment, and with that, allow the network operators to see intermittent interference issues and very quickly identify and mitigate those interference items. The slight difference between the spectrum analyzer and a receiver is that if you want to measure a known RF interference, a spectrum analyzer is probably a much better tool, but if you have an unknown interferer, a PR100 is by far a much better tool for that application. What unique features does Roden Schwartz have in its drive test solutions? Chris, one of the things that we bring to the table with our drive test solutions is our hardware scanner, our TSMW. There's a few things that we have uniquely. The TSMW has an unbanded solution as compared to some of our competitors. That unbanded solution allows the network operators to look at any frequency between 30 megahertz and 6 gigahertz. In addition to that, the TSMW has two independent RF front ends. 20 megahertz each. That is unique amongst any scanner vendor that's out there today. In addition to that, we have the capability to look at multiple technologies in parallel. So that's the legacy technology, CDMA, GSM, UMTS, along with the current technologies, LTE, or forthcoming technology, LTE and WiMAX. There's no scanner vendor out there today that can meet the uh, capabilities of the TSMW, nor the uh, speed of the TSMW. So Chris, let me give you an example of what I'm referring to regarding the differences between the FSH and the PR100. So what I've done here is I've set up the FSH to have a sweep span of 50 megahertz, along with a resolution bandwidth of 10 kilohertz and a video bandwidth of 100 kilohertz. I've also set up the PR100 to have a very similar uh, parameters where I've got a 50 megahertz span and also set up for, from a, a, an acquisition side of being equivalent of approximately 10 kilohertz. And if you can see here, the differences between the two, the speed of acquisition by the PR100 as compared to the handheld spectrum analyzer is that it's significantly faster. And where, the, where that really comes into play is if a network operator had an intermittent interfere where it, the, anal, the spectrum analyzer had swept through it's quite possible that the network operator would not see it on a continuous basis with the spectrum analyzer. On the other hand, with the PR100, because you are having a potentially a much faster acquisition and more real time, you're almost, you're pretty well almost guaranteed to see it on a regular basis, that interfere. 